Hello and welcome back to the farm and oh dear we have uh, we have weeds in in the ground that's that's not the greatest <laughs> that's not the great oh there's even more weeds anyways welcome back to the farm we are now in August and hopefully our field over here with the soybeans are ready to harvest no not quite it looks it looks to almost be there let's take a look soybeans oh yeah, that's uh, that's in a few months. <laughs> now, before we get into the tractor and take care of these weeds, I do quickly want to check out if we have anything useful in the used machinery sale. Let's take a look here. We got hmm, an interesting trailer. Very expensive trailer, mind you. We also got another one over here. Not as good as the one we have because we have the extension on. This is a planter. That's interesting, so we can use it to plant stuff like corn, sunflowers, etc. Uh, and this thing, a slurry distributor. Yeah, we don't, unfortunately, need any of this stuff. Good stuff, but none that we either need or have the money for. Where on earth did I place my tractor? Ah, there it is. <laughs> I thought I had lost it for a minute. Right, let's turn on the engine. Oh, right, we have a few things. There's a few things that I need to keep an eye out for, uh, things that I want to sell. Lettuce is one of them, and then those uh, three silage bales that we have. Let's take a quick look over here. Uh, silage. Show price for fluctuations. Right. Yeah, that's going to be in January, and lettuce, I believe, is somewhere. Yep, February is going to be the best for the lettuce, so we will keep waiting all right so let us attach the weeder and get rid of some of these weeds i have been thinking in between episodes as well uh let me just attach that because if we take a look here and in here where is right our oats this is the amount of oats that we got in the last episode and that is not very much so I've been thinking in between episodes that's probably the best thing that I can do right now anyway is to basically plant the same thing in all the fields but also go for something that is a little bit more worth it like well soybeans I believe soybeans are more worth it and also yield a lot so that is probably something that we should focus on in our fields until we get well bigger and speaking of bigger uh, I will take a look at some field prices when we reach down here because the more we expand like the more fields we have the more money we will be able to make so yeah I want to see what the cheapest field prices are I don't think we will be able to afford any of them but it'll be worth a shot well worth a look anyway I've also been thinking about maybe installing a, a hedge right here to kind of block out the... I guess it's not a highway, but um, yeah, to kind of add some more scenery to the area. Just, just to make a difference. Maybe even plant some trees. Let me know down below in the comments if you think it's a good idea to plant some trees and maybe a hedge. Do give me feedback on that down below in the comments because I think that might be something quite cool to do. Right, I'm very happy that we bought this weeder because the working width is quite good. Oh, wrong button. I tried going to third person. There we go. Yeah, we can do this easily. But before I continue, let me just take a look at some of the field prices, just because I'm quite curious so if we go into land mode we own this right here 56,000 50,000 140,000 120 180 right that's a huge land area right there huh whoa that's big <laughs> that's very very big Huh. Well, looks like the cheapest for us is going to be in this area. $50,000. That's definitely not cheap. There are areas down... Nope, they're big chunks as well. 
Yeah, that's... Hmm. That's an issue for us. <laughs> that makes it very hard. Extremely hard, in fact, to expand. Oof. 50,000 it is, until we can get... Uh... <laughs> A new field and we have 18,000. Oh dear. Alright. Let's finish up this weeding process and we will be able to skip to the next month or jump over to the next month and hopefully the soybeans are going to be ready for harvest. All right, final piece right here. And one thing that we should remember as well, the last harvest we only had one fertilization stage in these fields. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? That tiny, that tiny little... <sighs> Anyways, as I was saying, we only had one fertilization stage in the field uh, in the last harvest. This time we will have full fertilization because of the chopped straw from the oat harvest and also from the um, oilseed radish that we will be planting again uh, this year. I do need to check actually if we can plant those by the time we have harvested the soybeans. If not, we need to plant those uh, in this episode as well. Okay, that's that's very poor timing for us. The month where we are able to harvest the soybeans is also the month that is the final month that we can put down oilseed radish. Uh, that's gonna be a pickle. We would need to harvest the field, cultivate it, and plant the oilseed radish in one day. Hmm. I guess what we could do is put it to times five and then we will just have to hurry and do... Where did I get an extra $1,000? Did I miss something? <laughs> How did I get an extra $1,000? I mean, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> but where did I get... Okay, I I'm just not gonna... I'm just not gonna worry about that. <laughs> we can do it, I think. We will be able to manage. I just don't want to put times below times five. Because otherwise we could just run it in real time and manage everything in one day without any issues, which isn't really realistic. As soon as this field is done, I will put the weeder away and we will take a look at it just to see if there are any good contracts. If there's any bailing contracts, like silage contracts and whatnot, I might wait with the harvesting of the soybeans for the next episode. Because if we did silage or something like that again, we would be able to get the any excess bales, which we could really benefit from. Like, we would be able to sell those ourselves. Right. Yeah, just don't look at my tracks. It's fine. Everything is fine. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. All right. Let us, uh, well, check the contracts real quick. I don't think that actually there is baling contracts. Mow the grass in field 71. Then bale the grass and wrap it to make silage bales. Take the bales to the animal dealer. Use your own equipment or lease equipment f uh, for reward reduced by 1,900. We would get $21,000 from doing that contract. Let me reduce the time back to 5. 71. This one right here. It is a massive field. We worked in field 69, I believe. It's twice the size of field 71, but it is such a huge chunk of money. We could do some of these, plus we would get probably a lot of bales left over. I know the last episode I did this, <laughs> it didn't go too well, but I feel like I might be able to do a better job. We would probably be able to afford a new field by the next episode if I'd grab this. It's a huge job, but I'm gonna do it. It... it... I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna regret this, <laughs> but there we go. Okay, I need to. Uh, I need to go to the dealership real quick. <laughs> okay, I'm very. I'm very. I'm so happy actually with the tools that we've been given. So we've been given a given a JCB tractor, some great mowers. This is a huge tether. We've been given uh, round not not round square bales, which like, whoa! I think we might even be able to attach this to this. 
and then this to pick up the bales. This should be a very easy... It should... Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. That's mine. <laughs> this should be... Okay, I say easy. It's gonna be easy. It's just gonna take a while. I think this is so gonna be worth it. Like 20000 $21,000. We'll be able to afford a new field by the next episode. Oh, I'm very... I, you can probably tell I'm very excited about this. <laughs> okay, uh... Here we go, I guess. <laughs> this is gonna be a huge job. This tractor has some speed. This tractor has a lot of speed. I like it. Okay, let's reduce that. Okay, 70 kilometers per hour. Hmm. You know, that's not bad. I feel like... It might be... Actually, with this road... Hmm. What would this be? A 60-kilometer road? Maybe maybe 70 is actually... Would actually be legal. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm just happy I'll be able to... Basically race this thing around. Um, and easily get to this field. Okay, yeah. It's a huge... It's a ginormous field. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's unfold, lower, turn on, and here we go, at a very good speed as well. It's just loud. <laughs> it's very loud. Alright, um, yeah, this is gonna be a huge job but also huge reward. And, remember, we will be able to keep any extra bales that we get from this, and it would help if I'm able to drive properly. Okay, uh, it's been about, I've had a timer here going on my phone, yep, 21 minutes since the time-lapse began. Uh, I assume that time-lapse is gonna be like 1 minute 30 seconds or something like that. Do let me know if you think that is a too long of a time-lapse. This tractor, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love this tractor, it's fast and it's comfortable driving. It really is. But anyways, we are almost done here. I think one, maybe two, three times up and down more. Final spot, and done. And we can head back to the dealership and pick up uh, the Terror. Yes, the Terror will be next. I don't think we will be able to attach a bailer to the Terror. I believe the normal, f what the Terror does in real life is turn the grass so currently we would leave the grass to just dry in the sun and then the tether kind of like throws the grass around and drying it even further. I think that is what you do with the tether but of course this is a game and we don't have to actually wait which is yeah kind of nice. Actually I just realized what I said is complete rubbish. Uh, I'm not sure if it is a tether we have. There's a tether and then there's something else. The thing that we have at the shop makes like the swath. I'm all the way back here. Took a wrong turn. <laughs> but yeah, the thing that we have at this shop, I believe it's the thing that makes the swath. But then there's something else that like turns all the grass. I'll need to look at it now. Attach that. I guess I would be able to see it if I go into here and go into windrowers. And, yep, that's the one we have right there. So what we have here is a windrower. All right. Let's unfold this huge thing. Oh, yeah. that This is big. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 
It's satisfying to watch these things unfold. With the size of this, this shouldn't take that long. And then we just turn it on. And we go like this. This is going to go a little bit slower, but it is also almost twice as wide as what we did before. I'm going to miss bits, but... And that's just because I'm not used to driving with such a thing. But I'll try my best. Yeah, this shouldn't take that long. And it did the turn pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. Uh, again, I'm gonna time how long it takes just because I'm curious. Alright, we are almost done. Just need that patch right there, and then we will be done. I honestly don't know what is happening with my money. I now have 20,600. I actually don't know what I'm getting money from. I don't know if I will be able to see it somewhere. Uh, June, August. Property income. And that's it. I don't know what I'm getting money from. If you have an idea, put it down below in the comments. I'd love to see it. But anyways, this process has taken about 20 minutes as well. Which makes sense. I definitely feel like that this contract is going to go a lot better <laughs> than the last one I did. There we go. Turn that off. Let us attach the baler. And again, hopefully I'll be able to connect it to the wrapper as well. That would make sense. You do that in, or can do that in real life as well. Nope, you are not able to, unfortunately. That, hmm. Maybe there's another baler that can do it. But yeah, okay, we can change the bale size. I'm gonna choose the largest size possible. That's a bit annoying actually that I can't do that because you could do that in real life, which <laughs> cuts the time that you need to do this in like by half. Hmm. What on earth is this? <laughs> Are they like... Wait. I think they're collectibles. They are! You found a cow. There are nine more cows to be found. And there's sheep. And pigs. So those are scattered... Sorry, buddy. Those are scattered around the map. And you get money for finding them. Okay, then. I mean, I'll take it. I don't think that is unfair. I guess it would be like winning a giveaway or something like that. Do let me know if I should keep the money from these if I find them. I'm not gonna look up where they are and then just go and find all of them. But yeah, let me know if you think, if I find one, just randomly like I did now, do you think I should keep it? Let me know down below in the comments. All right, let's fold this out. And I think all I gotta do is lower at first <laughs> there we go now the beauty about square bales is that you don't need to stop when one bale has been produced and this is the first time I'm driving a baler like this <laughs> so yeah so it will drop these as we go just like that which should make this job quite easy and it shouldn't take that long either since we're driving at 17 kilometers per hour. I just need to go up and down all the swaths. I don't need to do that again.
for all the wrapping and then it'll be done. We are almost done here, well, with the bailing. I'm missing a few spots. It got a little bit chaotic, as you can probably tell, towards the end, uh, mainly because of my poor pathing. And as you can see, there are a few bits here and there, but I'm not gonna worry about those, because otherwise we will never get done. I have no idea how many bales we have done here. Um, I guess put your guesses down below in the comments and uh, you can try and count. Uh, it, yeah, have fun uh, doing that if you if you choose to. But this is something we can consider doing as well. Obviously not a huge field like this, but we could consider getting a relatively large field seeded with grass and then we would just be able to cut it and cut it and cut it. We wouldn't need to reseed it. We could just cut it, bale it, turn it into silage and sell it. Silage can be a great way of making money so that is something definitely to consider final run and the bailing will be done well if i can make that turn i probably can it's a bit tricky to drive this thing i find maybe first person is easier i don't know Oh, that's a bail. We finished with 75% left. Maybe I will try and take some of these small bits here. And 100. Now the question is, can I get this thing out? It is unfortunately stuck, so we will just head back over to the dealership. It's fine. We have plenty of bales over there anyway. I can put it here. That's fine. It's fine. Would be cool though if you could at least have the wrapper and the trail on at the same time, wouldn't it? Let's see how we work this thing. I assume it needs to fold out. The bit. Are you kidding me? The bale is not supported? Okay, so I apologize for the quick uh, cut that happened, but basically I did a huge mistake. These bales, if you remember, I changed the bale type from 220 to 240. I thought, hey, the bigger the better, right? Well, no. This bale wrapper is not able to support 240 centimeter bales. I didn't know this. <laughs> In fact, I didn't know this at all. So, yeah, that that's what went wrong. Now, I went into the XML files and I changed the bales from 240 centimeters to 200 and 20. I think that's fair because I didn't know that happened. Okay, yeah. That was a mess. I thought I had completely messed up there, but thankfully, XML files are, yeah, there. <laughs> Oh man, that was um, that was chaotic, to say the least. But we're all good, and yeah, now I need to just do every single bale, wrap it, and then pick it up with the trailer, and sell it. We're good. <laughs> so I'll see you when all of these bales are wrapped, and I'm gonna try and not miss a single one because that would just be annoying. So yeah, I'll see you in just a moment.
missing three. Oh dear, that's nope. <laughs> there we go. Yep, missing three, and then we are done. Then we're just gonna load them up and well sell them. Oh dear, don't. There we go. Nice. And here goes the final one. Beautiful. I can put this right at the entrance. Then we just gotta load them up and sell them. If you counted all these, <laughs> do let me know how many we have in the comments because, um, yeah, I, I didn't count them because, yeah, no, <laughs> I didn't count them. Oh yeah, I did think of something with this baler. Maybe I can close it up and maybe the bale will come flying out. Don't know if it's gonna work. D nope, okay. <laughs> that did not work, no. I will say it was a worthy attempt though. Final step in the process. Let's just check the contract real quick. See what the progress is. 20%. I don't think it is going to count the percentage for bailing it. Nor, well, maybe. I think the percent main percentage will be when we actually sell it. And the sun is actually going down, so we should turn on some lights, shouldn't we? I think this thing can have like 14 bales on it. I'm not 100% positive on that. But I think it can have like 10 or 14 bales on. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up. I don't think I'm gonna time lapse it. <laughs> because it's gonna be super fast. And, well... I guess I can time-lapse it, and then time-lapse the trip over to the animal shop where we need to sell these. So yeah, time-lapse engaged. Alright, unloading the first batch. Yeah, I had, I had some trouble finding this place, finding out where the animal dealer was, but it was here all along. And I believe unload bales here. Boom. 34% transported for th field 71. Let's take a quick look at the contract. Yep, 48% uh, percent done. So, I believe, maybe do that, well, two more times or so? Why is this down? I have no idea, that, there we go, okay. <laughs> right, keep doing that, and we'll be done very soon. Alright, second, wait, no, third load, and I think this is actually going to complete this right here, which means we might have like 14 silage bales for us. I don't know why it does that. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we just got a bit of money from selling the bales that are left over for us, and we completed the contract. Now, I am not going to complete the contract just yet because I need this equipment, I need this uh, bale loader here in order to grab the bales and bring them to my farm because the price for silage could be a lot better. So the 2000 we got there could potentially have been 10,000. This, this contract has definitely been worth it. We will get like 58,000 we will have 58,000 at the end of this episode once the contract is completed. Plus we will have like 14 bales or so for ourselves which we can sell which could potentially be who knows 25,000 or something like that. I don't know but this is big money right here. And my, I, I do apologize my driving is horrendous. <laughs> I am aware. <laughs> I usually don't drive looking down at the vehicle I'm driving from a drone. This is better. Alright, now for the difficult part of finding 
The remaining bales, at least they're shining a little bit, but yeah, it is getting very difficult to see anything. How many do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 bales! That is actually pretty good, considering we also have three other silage bales back at home. Yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be exciting. We could sell it now, but I'm gonna... it. That would be stupid. I'm gonna wait till the price is right for us, because, yeah, that's what we need. I have no idea how long this episode is. If it's long, I do apologize. <laughs> but it has been worth it. It has been worth it, though. It has taken me some time to record as well. Quite a bit, actually. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's definitely been worth it. And it's been fun, honestly. This tractor, I wondered. I actually wonder how... Like, it has to be like a large or medium tractor, right? It's a medium. 216,000. Hmm. Anything new in here? No. Okay. It was worth a look. Alright, three bales remaining. I'm gonna grab this one, then drive up to that one, and then get the final one, and then get back home. And we also, let's not forget that we discovered um, collectibles today. Do give me your feedback down below in the comments, like I said earlier. Do you think it's fair that we collect them and get the money from them? Also, it's not a whole lot of money per collectible. It's 1,000, but for us, that is a lot. All right. That is that. Turn that off. And let's head home. Find out where on earth to place these. And then we'll be done. I do like how this place looks though during the night or the evenings. It looks nice. I guess I should turn off my big lights. And yep, we don't have that drive through anymore. So we will have to go over here. Okay, where am I gonna place these? I don't wanna place them here. I think right here should do the trick. Yep, that's good. Maybe... Nah, there we go. Unload. Right forward. That's a huge stack. That... No, that... <laughs> that does not look stable at all. Hmm. It's, it's fine. It'll be fine. But yeah, this tractor has been really, really good to use. I'm going to accept the contract now, or collect it. $21,000 right there. We now have 49, and we have a bunch of bales to sell. So in the next episode, hopefully, we will be able to buy... Well, I could buy this right now, but hopefully we will be able to buy one of these two right here. I don't know which one will have most value. But let me know down below in the comments, field 49 or field 48. It would connect, this one does connect up to this, so we could technically combine this and make one large field if that's what we wanted. And we could make it grass, so we could do silage regularly. Re regul, uh, that, that, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, anyways guys, really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.